Muchachos y muchachas. So this week we've been talking about the Dalai Lama and some inappropriate gestures that we all witnessed him exhibit uh, towards a young Indian boy. Now, I know we've all seen the clips by now. If you haven't, there are two previous videos to this. You may want to check out uh, where I kind of go through all of it. Now, as you guys may or may not know, I was one of the accounts on Twitter as well as on Instagram, uh, one of the first to uh, post these clips, and therefore it went viral. I did some al also some follow-up clips of some reaction reels, TikToks, and which also did high in number. Now, with that being said, I had, I've had some firsthand observations, um, firsthand sight to the comments. Uh, to my own content, to the entire situation. And although majority, thank God, are outraged and angered about this as it should be, there are a minority out there that seem to be more brazen about defending the Dalai Lama and these egregious actions. And that's what I want to talk about today, because I, I if I see something, I've got to say something. And uh, believe me, if this is the future that we're building for the next generation, for your children, for your grandchildren, for your nieces and nephews, um, or if you're a guardian, you've got to know that there are people out there that are so blind that they are making excuses for this. We're going to go through some of these examples, including one CNN panelist. Yeah, I know. Surprise. Hold on to your butt. Secure your wig. Stay right there. We're going to go through it. All right. So let's jump right to it. We're going to start off with the CNN panelist. And now this is not surprising, of course. But one thing that I will say is because this is CNN, because this is the media, I want you guys to understand that yes, we have seen propaganda. Yes, we have seen uh, a, a, a egregious agendas that are trying to get normalized in our everyday society, and especially when it comes to the tots, the ninos, right? Um, and we've seen it, right? They're, they're trying really hard at different angles to normalize things that are extremely fringe taboo. But when it comes, when it comes to that point where it is like we're tipping over into them trying to normalize the fans of the playground ideology, this is why I'm, do, I'm even making this video because I, I just, I can't believe we're here where we have to we all have to gather in unison and understand that this is no longer just a Natalie Denise thing, vo voice. This is a your voice. This is your school board. Vo I mean, everybody has got to get vocal about this because this is so scary to witness. Okay, let me get to it. So there is a CNN panelist. So this is now hitting mainstream media, right? And I get it. Not a lot of people are trust trusting CNN anymore, and that's good. But still, there are some people that still do. Imagine that. And while they are trusting this news source, they are ingesting everything that they have to say uh, verbate, for, as gospel, and they're going to evangelize that type of gospel out to the world. And that's where it gets scary, okay? CNN panelist defends Dalai Lama telling young boy to, you know what, his tongue as nothing spicy. You guys see that word? I can't say it. So the panelist, his name is, let me see if I got a Rolling Stone columnist. Jay Michelson said that the meeting with the Dalai Lama was one of the most powerful experiences that he ever had in his life and claimed that the Dalai Lama's actions were not uh, spicy. This is a Dalai Lama. This is what the guy says. This is a CNN panelist slash the Rolling Stone columnist, whatever. So he's in the mainstream media. He's saying the Dalai Lama is a very playful human being. And we may see this in a weird kind of gross uh, spicy way, but this is uh, this is about as spicy as a bowl of plain rice. He says, um, "There's nothing 
you know, spicy or um, steamy happening in this encounter. Yes, there is. See, and this is a part that uh, absolutely grinds my gears is the gaslighting. I cannot, th when you try to gaslight me, you're you're trying to insult my intelligence. So the, and, and exactly this, this guy is insulting everybody's intelligence. We saw it for what it was. We saw it with our own eyes. What happened? What transpired on that stage? This young boy was uncomfortable. His body language was pulling back, right? Um, the Dalai Lama kept insisting on these gestures that were just completely inappropriate. The gestures itself were completely inappropriate. That is not, and whatever we categorize as play, playful and innocent, um, we've got to be clear about it, okay? So for instance, here's my example. No, like, no, that is not playful. That is not innocent. That is appalling. It's egregious. It's inappropriate. No, <laughs> you know what I mean? So we've all got to get vocal about this. This is absolutely not acceptable. And the fact that they're trying to normalize this says there's nothing steamy or spicy happening in this encounter. Yes, it is, guy. This guy, it, 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 and that's the thing too that is so dangerous. The fact that this person is in the main stage media um, and saying things like, you know, uh, none of this had any spiciness or steaminess to it when really there are gestures in there, like a child needs to know that when an adult who is a stranger uh, wants to get in a very close proximity, wants to kiss them on the lips, wants to, you know, get bring them close to them. Uh, and and that's not their family member. It's not in a, um, you know, uh, not in a inappropriately loving way. It's it's a stranger doing these gest gestures. It's not right. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to scale the eyes of um, red. Fl we're trying to scale red flags to a new level, right? That's a red flag. If, if I had a child today and they were able to understand um, uh, uh, me teaching them boundaries, that would be a red flag for me teaching a child. When a stranger pulls you in, when they want to kiss you on the lips, when they get too close to you and you feel ugly, you run away or you tell an ad another adult something like that. You know what I mean? Like there are boundaries, there are absolute red flags, and this is one of them. To say that it's not is so appalling to me, okay? So this is what you guys have to look out for. There are people out there that are trying to gaslight the public into thinking that this whole thing is not G-R-O-O-M-I-N-G, little kids, and this is exactly what it is. He claimed that the Dalai Lama was showing an aura of love and kindness in the video, okay? Now, although this is CNN, there was an, another CNN panelist, her name is Allison Camarota, pushed back saying that the boy's body language showed that the boy doesn't wanna do it, exactly. Now, there is HAQ, uh, I'm sorry, um, there, there was a, uh, a group called Center for Child Rights, uh, and they are condemning these actions, saying some news refers to the Tibetan culture about showing the time. And see, here was another thing, too. And I talked about this in one of my latest videos. Uh, I, I actually believe it was like one of the first videos that I made on this. There were people that were like quick to respond. I'm talking about like within minutes, not even understanding like, that d despite culture, despite culture, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, I don't care what culture it comes from. If you see something and you don't immediately know that this is wrong, there is something so blind about our culture. There's something so deluded. Something went wrong where some people would, would th their first instinct is to go dig an article out their bum to try to justify these actions where, whereas you should be able to just see and know like this is wrong. So people were doing this on my platforms, both on Twitter and on my Instagram saying, oh, this is a cultural thing, uh, you know, that they stick out their tongue whenever they're greeting. It's actually in war when they are surrendering where you see a lot of this, these video clips and photos, you know, 
from a war where the people are, uh, the Tibetan people are surrendering, they'll do this and stick out their tongue, right? Um, it, or maybe it is a greeting. Maybe maybe it got carried off from a war and it became a tradition as a greeting. But sticking out your tongue and asking a young boy to suck it is a completely different thing. We understand. So um, the, people were immediately responding with that. You guys probably know. Now, uh-oh, what happened? Here we go. Okay. So the Center for Child Rights is saying uh, there is nothing, there, nothing about this. Even the cultural expression, even if it is such a cultural expression, are not acceptable. Good on you. Good on you, Center for Child Rights, because that is uh, complete. We concur. A statement that was posted to the Dalai Lama's Twitter account, which has 19 million followers, uh, apologized for the incident. So here's the thing, too. Like, if if he had something to apologize for, then there was there was absolutely something wrong with the actions. If there is something that the Dalai Lama regrets, then there was something wrong with his actions. OK, so let's jump to some of these comments like this is my personal Instagram. If you guys are not following me, uh, follow me there. It's just Natalie Denise. Nothing. Uh, no punctuations. No underscores. Just Natalie Denise. Um, I wanted to show you guys some of this because this is <laughs> I'm telling you guys, there, there are people out there actively, avidly defending this, okay? And the reason why this is so concerning is because this is going to be a, an, a, an agenda. This is going to be the next propaganda. It is. And you've got, you've got to show your face now. You've got to puff up your chest now because this is coming for the future generations. Listen, look at this comment right here. Um is talking about the apology who basically regurgitates the Dalai Lama's apology. His holiness often teases people. He meets in an innocent and playful way, even in public before cameras. He regrets the incident. I know it was offensive for some of you guys, but it was an innocent way. Plus I know the West kissing kids in good, bad is negative for you guys. So behave of him. I will apologize for it, even though he already apologized. So that one's not so bad. Um, but if you guys catch the undertone of this comment, it's still empathetic to the Dalai Lama. It's like they're sad that he not. I don't I, I don't think that these people. I don't think that they are uh, a lot of them. How do I say this? I think a lot of people are deeply ignorant rather than like they have undertones of malice in the way that they're responding to this. Some of them do have undertones of malice, right? Um, but that that's where the danger kind of lies. So this person is more empathetic towards the Dalai Lama than everybody else. But he is also, uh, you know, apologizing to everybody else. Now, there are people under here that are. Uh, uh, thank you, guys. If you are one of the people that respond, uh, I, I sometimes I, I just don't respond anymore to the negative comments because it just um, there, there's no use to it. So uh, if you are <laughs> responding to these, I uh, uh, Believe me, thank thank you for your service. Thank you for helping me out there. Um, now, there are some more. Let me uh, just scroll down a little bit right here. So let me unhighlight this word so you guys can see. It says, just go and watch the full video. It was in a teasing way, like playful, because of this negative world, everything is problematic these days. It was in full daylight and in front of the cameras. Just imagine who will do this if it was a, a fan of the playground way. OK, um, th and this is this is one of the this is a prime example of why I'm showing you. This is why I am showing. Oh, so this is actually the this is actually the same person. This is actually the same person we just read the comment from. OK, so this is the same person commenting in a very like snappy way like you guys are problematic right and it's like no the, this type of thinking is what's problematic this leeway to give a foothold to um you know the dalai lama over and over and over again doing these things like uh, and I'm, i mean over and over again i mean person after person after person doing these things is enabling the behavior and it's not acceptable that's why we're speaking out that's why the masses don't agree so no, this is not okay. This is not, and th this is absolutely inappropriate. 
age inappropriate. The next person who says people will create a controversy about famous social figure about every little things to get attention. Grow up and don't get brainwashed. People do research yourself is playing and joking with kids nowadays a crime or something. And he again, again, with the gaslighting, these people have scales on their eyes. And again, these people, um, they, they just don't see it. They just don't see it. These are things that we saw with our own eyes. These are things, th this is a video clip we saw with our own eyes. Here's another one right here. Platinum Buddhist. Too bad your intuition and spirit is accuse someone who are not, do not follow Christianity of something that his holiness has never done and will never do till... He is there on earth. His life is transparent to the whole world since birth. He's a pure monk who has taken an oath to not indulge in spicy things. And he has to live by that through his whole life, his whole life. He was teasing the boy. He didn't meant those words as uh, spicy at all. He has lived his whole life as a pure, simple monk and his life is open and transparent. Yeah, we know. And we know that the people that he's associated with as well. We know the people that are associated with the Dalai Lama as well. So, yes, we know that he's transparent. Um, listen, and look, a lot of these people are just responding like and, and good. I'm glad that people are responding that they are the way that they are, because um, this is just unacceptable. And I'm telling you guys, this is why I'm telling you there are people out there just like you see with all the other agendas with the kids right now. OK, that's another that's another flavor of propaganda. This is this is a different flavor of propaganda, except you see a small amount of people that are starting to make excuses, enable and enable. And now the signs for uh, GR double O M I N G, uh, the, the signs for that are going to be watered down by these people and they're going to continuously make excuses, which is why I encourage you guys to, to speak up, puff out your chest because they're com it's here. It's already on CNN normalizing these things. This is crazy, guys. It's crazy. Just a matter of time where uh, the, the, the type of laws are going to change or going to be attempted to change. So anyway, I just thought I'd let you know that's what's going on. There are that small sect of people out there. Um, but as you know, these proper, these agendas, they are contagious. Other people who don't have um, a vivid soul will also latch onto the propaganda as they feel like they need to base their identity in something. And so at large, when authoritarians and the mainstream tell you one thing and it's trendy, just watch out. All right, guys, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.